Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. I hope you are doing well. So today I wanted to play a little bit with some of my stamps, uh, in particular the number stamp here. And I also wanted to, I don't know if you remembered, actually I think I mentioned this in my Instagram. I was playing around with this uh, set, the Shachihata um, Irozukuri set. And basically you can make your own stamp pad uh, with the various colors. This comes in a set with uh, the ink, sorry, with the stamp. This one is from Tam's Works. And uh, there's two other sets with different colored inks. But I wanted to make one in particular with these two colors here. The one that says Benny and it's kind of like a coral red color. And then one that says Himawari, which is sunflower. And I wanted to do that. So I think I will, uh, I might use one of the colors from this set because I've already opened it up. Let me show you what it looks like actually, the inside. So here we go, we have three inkers uh, in the three colors and I've, on, you, on Instagram, I think it was the Instagram, I don't remember if it was a live or uh, it might it might have been an Instagram live. I colored, I added some color here. I just filled this section out with the gray. I use gray ink often, so um, yeah, I filled this part with the gray if I wanted mainly gray. And then here you can see the example that I did with this actual particular stamp that says thank you right here. And now I want to make like a yellow and red one. And I don't know if these numbers are too big for this blank stamp pad. And uh, before I forget, these items you can purchase from the stationery selection. So the description is in Japanese, unfortunately, um, and I can't read that too, but um, you can see that you just kind of blot the ink onto the pad. And then there is a little stamper that looks, it's like a spatula that looks like this. And you can kind of um, dab the ink in, into the ink pad. There's a really great tutorial on Shachihata's Instagram and uh, if you want to check that out you can it's on there as well. So here is the blank one. There's nothing on here uh, but I could always, I'll probably use this one just to keep it consistent and um, I will stamp that out onto here once I finish the the colorway. So it's blank right now and I just thought I would turn on the camera. I was going to do this anyways but I thought why not uh, show you how I do it. Uh, like I said I don't know this one is just uh, oh no it's fine it's okay it will probably be able I'll probably be able to ink that so I'm excited about that. This one I, re I purchased recently it says Kotoshi mo Yoroshiku. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. Um, I bought this from, uh, I was walking around, we were exploring one of the neighborhoods in Tokyo and we came across uh, the stationery shop called Goat and I thought that was really cute for the new year and I stamped that out on some of the stamps and this one is from Amanda from Two Cups Travels. This might be a little too, oh no, but I can um, it doesn't have to <laughs> fit on the ink pad. So um, I have these numbers out and uh, it doesn't have to fit on the ink pad. But the reason why I wanted to see is because I want to have like a, a yellow center. Or maybe I want a, a red center and then like a yellow outside. Which one do I want? Maybe red center and then yellow outside. Let's try that. And then so I wanted the numbers to be able to fit the eight might be a little or the ampersand might be a little wide eh? let's see so this number set it's very very like these bold numbers are from studio calico and it's called it doesn't say it just uh, yeah i don't have the the name of it But, oh no, the eight, number eight is okay. Um, of course, if it doesn't fit, you can, um, with any like ink pad, if it doesn't fit, you can just 
ink it like that but because I want to have like a uniform uh, center and surrounding I, I want to make sure that I can ink it in one go I hope that I hope I'm making sense but anyways so let's try I think I will go with Oh, I'm, I'm like <laughs> second guessing myself because originally I wanted the yellow center and then the white outside. But I think I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to do the red center. So this one, like I said, is called uh, Beni Iro. So each ink will come with a spatula as well. I found uh, with when I was doing this one, actually, I would just ink it on top and then use the tip of the inker to kind of let it absorb. Uh, I will show you what I mean <laughs> later on here. So um, yeah, so the, the stationery selection has the blank ink pads as well as the colors available and the sets as well. So there's three sets in total. The Mizutama Hanko set, uh, Peppercorn Arts has it on her Instagram. She shared an example of uh, doing that one. So I will uh, leave you a link to Peppercon Arts. So I'm just going to, I don't know if I need to shake it or maybe I'm not going to do it vigorously, but just kind of like, you know how you do your nail polish. I'm just going to do that gently. And then let's see. So I'm just going to squeeze I want to try and keep it like a uniform oval shape and like I said you, the tip of the inker is already quite thin so I use the tip of the inker to push in the ink into the ink pad instead of the spatula I mean you can use a spatula I think it's probably a lot more gentle and you won't get the tip of the inker globby Because ideally you'll just leave a drop onto the ink pad and then you'll use the spatula to kind of pound it in. Uh, but in my case, I'm extremely lazy and <laughs> so I will be just using the tip of the inker to do that instead. And it's not like an instant uh, absorption. It takes a bit, so just keep that in mind it's quite thick so let me see if I can show you like a close-up of this it's hard to tell but um, the ink is not like absorbing right away so you have to wait a little bit and it's quite thick you can kind of see a little bit on the top there. Then I'm going to take the yellow and see if I can somehow <laughs> blend it in together. I think with the yellow I will use the spatula because I don't really want to cross contaminate and I don't know if it's necessary to really shake it so I'm just gently swirling it around. So with the yellow I'm going to, I'm not, I'm trying my best not to touch the red outline. I'm going to kind of blend it in together with the spatula that's included. So I'm going to add ink to the outside like so let me show you the close-up here you see that and it's kind of gently already moving and I'm just going to use a spatula to move that ink around instead of using the tip of the inker like I did with the red because I don't want to contaminate anything or s cross the colors in any way on, on the tip although it's not a big deal it's just for myself so so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to continue to do that all the way around I was just double checking to see if I could fit the eight 
think the eight is the widest or maybe the four they're probably around the same size I think I will add a little bit more ink on the edges there uh, with the yellow orange color I think it would be fun to do like an, another red maybe or like a pink here because um, the red is not in contact I'm just going to directly use the tip to push the ink in all right and then maybe in the this video is getting long so um, maybe on the off time I will put another circle of red there so let's try and I'm gonna let that kind of settle in and I'm gonna take a number and see if we can see what it looks like or I should probably stamp this thank you but um, let me try and see if that will work it should be okay you can kind of see it still not fully absorbed in there but the thank you stamp is not too big so it should work let's try it out oh I need to get a piece of paper first let's put it in here my Hobonichi I'm working in the Hobonichi Techo this year instead of the cousin and it's challenging but in a good way I'll show you some of the pages that I have so far So I'm trying my best to not use too many tape, washi tapes and things like that. I'm trying my best to doodle more, which is time consuming, <laughs> but um, it's fun as well. Uh, but yes, it is time consuming. I find that I'm not very efficient with that. And I think the more I practice, the more I'll feel comfortable. Um, this I usually doodle right right away like I don't do it with pencil first because I'm very impatient that way um, like these ones I'll just I just went right for it but this and this I did use pencil and um, I'm not sure why but I just <laughs> yeah like I said I usually just go right into it even like the wording here and these ones these are all just I went right straight to pen and I don't know, I just want to try and find my, um, I don't know what the word it is, where, what word I'm looking for, but uh, I want to find my groove and see what works best for me. Um, but yeah, so I'm here. Let's th stamp this out that says thank you and see. I don't know if I have anything. I don't have anything on this day, so let's do that. Let's see how this looks like. And I'm not going to um, lift it up and change positions because I do want to see this gradation oh that's cool do you see that I think I'm going to use this to stamp I forgot I have to stamp this cover as well so I'm going to use this ink here to stamp that and see what it looks like and then I'll use the excess ink and I'll stamp the Hobonichi oh that's nice Okay, so I'll use this excess ink that you see here and I will stamp my Hobonichi Techo. Let's see, I'll, I'll probably just put it here in the bank blank spot. Oh, I think I, <laughs> I think I wiggled it a little bit, so it might be a little bit blurry. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Can you see that? That's cute, eh? I really like how vibrant it turned out here and actually it feels like um, the parts that are like yellow and red it's a little bit of orange tinge there it turned out really cool really really neat okay I wanted to stamp out like I said a uh, a color uh, sorry a number I think in the future I want to try one with the yellow center this time but the reason why I did it the other way is um, I felt like if I did the yellow center then maybe the number would be harder to recognize or see uh, but anyways let's try 
inking up a and I'll keep this out and maybe I'll stamp number 15 because like I said I don't really have anything else on this page or do I have anything this Saturday I'm not sure if I actually I'm going to stamp number 16 because I think I have oh I already have this one here the Hank's diary um, so I think I will stamp out day number 16 and let's see how that looks the number might be quite big but you can we can try we can play together I'm sorry this video is getting so long but so let's try number one all right so I I also took out the chibi maruko chan I haven't used them and it's so sad because I wanted to use them to kind of show you my mood and how I'm feeling and I think I bought these last year these were from the last year Hobonichi release and they show like really funny face facial expressions and you know I could use that one if I'm worried or stressed about something or if I'm thinking about something or I'm worried or I don't know there's a whole bunch I'm excited <laughs> that one is excited like there's a lot of really funny facial expressions that I cannot draw um, so I wanted to start using these I need to use more of my clear stamps and well actually this is a perfect size uh, anyways I have this one else so let's use that I'm going to put it off to this side because I'm going to stamp it maybe here 16 so let's take this out and see what it looks like with the red center and it's the new thing about this is because it is uh, clear you can see where you're um, pushing down onto the like you can see the clear stamp and where you're locating the ink So actually, if you're curious, I'll show you what this looks like with this. Um, this one here, I'll show you what it looks like and I will stamp maybe this one because I bought a new Kotoshi mo Yoroshiku. So I will, yeah, I'll, let's do this one here and I'll stamp it somewhere over here. I'll choose this area that has a lot more color. can see there and um, I don't know if I, there is a spot where oh I guess I could stamp here because there's a spot <laughs> it worked out really well actually yeah that's nice oh that's nice you can see there let me see if this is dark enough to add somewhere else it's hard to see okay let me stamp out um, this gray area so you can see what it looks like so it's a little bit more gray than the other colors and let's see if I can find a blank spot I kind of want to use this on the new year new year's um, pages because it says uh, this is more for like a New Year's saying. So yeah, there. Oh, I, that turned out really nice because this the end or like the lower half is more gray, and then the actual kotoshi mo yoroshiku is in a different color. So that turned out nicely. So yeah, I hope that was fun for you <laughs> or interesting for you. Um, if you have any questions as always just let me know in the comments or you can send me an email 
I try my best to respond to comments on a timely manner, but um, if there's something more urgent, uh, please feel free to email. My information is always uh, listed down below. But yeah, I will have to do um, a flip through of my Hobonichi Techo, uh, sorry, my cousin of the full year. Um, I'm pretty much finished with the December pages. And yeah, my December daily, my December journal, uh, it's it's like half done but at the same time I don't want to force myself to finish it off so I'm just going to give myself a bit of time maybe I'll finish it off in February and that's totally okay as well um, anyways thank you so much for being here today and I will see you soon bye bye